lifting ramp again from Elvis and the circular saw. We'll chew on that. Nudges delicately through the wall. Using the referee! Not too sure what Elvis is trying to do to Millie Ann Bug. Soda stream bottle. Its shell is of Dexian. That's used for office shelving. This is a father and son team. Robot ears, stand by. Bayam off, driven by Ant and Mike Pritchard. The actual drive system is two 12-volt wheelchair motors, which uh, work on a four-wheel drive system using a chain to operate the front and rear wheels. Three, two, one, activate. Eat me, says the slogan. I wonder if our house robots will chew on that. Nudges delicately through the wall using that pneumatic bucket. Lift up a lot of weight. The front bucket is for strength and tipability, which uh, hopefully we will use to ram under robots and tip the other robots over. This is a good run to the end of the ramp, but Sergeant Bash is waiting with the flamethrower. Think about eat me. It'll grill him, I should think, first before deciding whether or not he's tasty. But it's through and free! Beyond shot, great run! That's a superb run by Behemoth. Completing the course and through to the next round, ahead of Millie Ann Bug. Three, two, one. The spotlight on Millie Ann Bug, starting from the place where she finished just before that first goal. Oh, Elvis, that's a foul challenge, referee! Not too sure what Elvis is trying to do to Millie Ann Bug. One dreads to think. That's Behemoth. Again, Sergeant Bass looking to singe the fringe once more. This is the Behemoth pushing and pushing. Blocked all by Dead Metalman throw. Cease. <laughs> the laughter for Millie Ann Bug. <laughs> The second semi-final, Elvis against Behemoth. Three, two, one, activate. Behemoth making the first move, driven by 21-year-old Ant Pritchard, doing a degree in model making at the University of Hearts. There's that lifting ramp again from Elvis and the circular saw. 12-inch diameter cutting blade. Who would you like to battle out against? Elvis. Definitely Elvis. Oh, he's too pretty to lose. <laughs> Neil Lambeth driving Elvis has worked on West End musicals and Judge Dredd as a model-making special effect artist. They're doing the jitterbug. Elvis needs a little bit of poke salad alley. Matilda in there with him. Elvis spins. Can't get off the side. And there is Matilda with her own chainsaw. They can't get Elvis off the deadly tank truck. Oh, look at the Las Vegas gear. They're after Elvis. He's in the PPZ. The perimeter patrol's home. We own that, boys. Off goes Elvis. They really are rocking and rolling. Fancy dancing with Matilda. No mechanic for taste. Elvis on fire again! Well, he did like his burgers. Flame grilled. <laughs> all the love, all the care, all the dedication to build your robot, and when it's destroyed, you have to have a laugh. Well, fair play. Elvis melted. Well, <laughs> Elvis, fair enough to up the podium. Well, mate. They stole all of your blue suede shoes, didn't they? That's a bit off. <laughs> <laughs> they gave you one for your money. Almost to a crisp and all, didn't they? They burnt you to a crisp, they bashed your head in. They didn't get the head, though. Elvis's head is still on. Never mind, you're out. Elvis has left the building. Beermouth, you're through to the next fight. Yeah. The, the uh, cylinder's gone on the uh, pneumatics, so we had a bit of at the end. We lost the uh, front bucket. Yeah. Uh, How do you think you can um, get all that fixed up oh, to the next got, fight? We've got, we got a brand new cylinder out there, so we're ready to go straight away. You've got a brand new combine orb stack. <laughs> Give them a round of applause! <laughs> well done. Both have problems. The final, Inquisitor against Behemoth. Three, two, one, activate. There goes Behemoth making the first move. 
1.65 mile an hour top speed underneath those spikes. Flail, I think purely for artistic purposes on the back of Inquisitor. About as useful as a toilet chain in Robot Wars at the moment. Beyond the spikes, there's Matilda, top of the picture. Good aggressive attack by Inquisitor. Don't forget the judges will adjudicate on damage control, style and aggression. Stylish turn by Inquisitor. Behemoth pushing towards Sakilala. Oh, look at the chain! I think Sakilala wanted a little bit of jewellery there, a bracelet. In comes Matilda. And Behemoth uses that pneumatic bucket on the front. Can lift up a thousand kilograms in weight. And the Inquisitor boys this time know their time is up. So Killalot comes in for the kill. It's all over. Bam off the winners. The winner is Behemoth. Come up to the platform, guys. Yes. Well, you've won the heat. You're through to the series semi-finals. How do you feel about that? Excellent. Uh, went but, really well. Well, you seemed to have more power, but you didn't, couldn't seem to get him tipped over. What was on there? Well, the retard valve's letting a bit off and it's sticking now and again, but we're getting there. It's, we're going to make a few modifications, hopefully uh, do some more damage. Yeah. Give them a round of applause, ladies and gentlemen. Well done, lads. Well, you don't need spots or boils or saws to be a fan of Robot Wars. Good night.